So hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to cover the task three of the KPMG virtual internship. This is the data analysis internship. So in the previous video, I already completed the task one and task two. If you don't watch it, just watch my previous videos. Okay. So in this task, I will divide this video in three sections. In the first section, we do some changes in our data sets. In the next section, we will see how to set up the W environment and in the last step we get the visualization for our presentation. So whatever task in this task we have to create a presentation that includes some visualization that we done on W platform. So let's get started. So first of all we have to download the data set. Data set are same as we download for the task 1 and task 2. So for this just click on the for section that is resources for your project just click click to download file it will take around 20 seconds to download your data set it's all depend on your speed okay so as you can see the data set has been downloaded after downloaded open it yes click on this show in folder and just, just copy it just cut it and based on the home screen okay so this is the data set okay so after that we have to do some changes in data set so for this open data set it in excel format okay Okay, so this is the data set KPMG virtual intensive sprocket limited sprocket private limited and module one, two, three, and so on. Okay. So what you have to do, you have to do some changes in the data set in a transaction data set. Okay. So just select transaction from the bottom, just click on it. You have to add some new columns, just like uh, you have to add uh, two columns in this data set. First is transaction month and the next one is the profit. So for getting the transaction month and profit, do some commands, okay. So for adding transaction months, so for this, select new column, name as transaction month. Okay, so this is a transaction month. So for this you have to, for getting the transaction month, you have to Use following formula just as equal text brackets and in brackets you what value you will provide you are going to get the month so just select the date from the transaction transaction date just click on this as you can see the this section has been selected okay so just comma as you are going to get the month so for this there's a format that is m m m m click on it bracket close just click on it okay so the transaction month is february for that transaction so that's that's how you have to generate all the transaction or you just create by using selecting all column values just click on just scroll down like this by selecting the initial column okay there are approximately 20,000 records are there. So you have to select by second drop like this. Now we are on 8,000, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Okay. Just so. Okay. Okay, yeah, just release your finger. You can see all the months are updated. So this is how you calculate, you generate the transaction month column. And in the next column that you have to generate that is profit. So for getting profit, just select a new column name as profit. Click on enter. Well, the profit can be generated by the list price subtracted by the standard cost so for this 
just click on equal sign and okay for oh, yeah you can directly select the section column we can say a single field minus this one click hit enter yes this is a subsection of the list price and standard cost so this is our profit and the same process that we do for the transaction month just do for this it is a very ridiculous work <laughs> let's start from one to and so on scroll till 20000 by selecting all columns 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 but okay 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 so these are the profit and you can see two new columns has been added in our transaction data set that are transaction month and the profit so what you have to do next you have to just save this page okay so save this actual scene control plus s okay though excel file has been saved okay you can and the next task you have to merge two data sets into a single data set so for this we use gender gender column name that is also present in transaction as well as customer demographic so that process we can done in this excel by using nlookup command but you can easily do in the w platform so we will do that in the w platform okay so you save this transaction you save this the whole data set collection of whole data set just close this okay so what you have to do next you have to so you have to open your browser again and you you can see that there are two platform are there you either you can use the w platform or you can use power bi power bi is a paid version of microsoft if you if you don't have a business account you cannot do free okay so just we are going to use that of w software just click to view the website just click on it once you when the web page open you have three options like this it will take some time okay network is very ridiculous okay, okay. click on try now there are three ways by which you can use w platform free so okay for this what are the three ways that is either you can download the w software in your system so it will take extra data on your system and as well as take time and the next option is we can use w online as a cloud as i as we do not as we use normal cloud like a google cloud or the ibm cloud etc and the last one is the w server so this is basically for the enterprises so we are going to use the w online platform just click on this Okay, so once the web page uploaded, it will look like it will look like this. So you have to click on start your free trial. Just click on this. Uh, 
I would like to tell you guys when you click on this there is a form that you have to fill for your registration on the W platform it is it will take your first name last name and so on as I as I already registered with that email so I d I'm not going to sign I'm not going I'm not going to sign up in my account I'm just signing in my account okay so you can create your sign up by using the as we do in a number of online platforms okay so after then they ask they ask for the business mail but you can use your private mail okay so just click on the sign in into your account and I click on this Click on sign up, sign in. Okay. So you have to upload the data set, the updated data set that includes the profit as well as the transition month into the into this platform and and do some changes and you will get your visualization within a number of steps. Okay. This is a very interactive platform for getting dashboards and heat maps and there is no need for the there is no need for coding skills okay so we are not going to write any any code like for i in rain and so on okay so when you open this it will look like this just create workbook like this it will open in a new window section After that, you have to upload your actual seat in it. Okay, so this you will you have four option on this side: files, connectors, and the dashboard starter. So click on files, upload from computer, select the destination folder, open it. As you can see, file is uploading. 3.4 MB uploaded. Okay. Once file is uploaded, it will look like this. There are two sections are there. For in the first section, you can see your drug tables here, and in the next section, you can see no data. So as you can see on the left hand side of your screen, all the data sets are there, like a customer addresses, customer demographic, new customer list, title sheet, and the transactions. So first of all, we have to merge two data set that is demographic and the transaction first of all you have to do some changes in transaction just click on this sorry just drag it okay, like this just click on this it will look like this and when you click on update now all the data data that are inside the transaction will show here as you can see I would like to tell you that there is uh, the problem with the column name in the W platform that is not as user as usual as actual seats. So we have we sh we can rename it like this. Okay, this one. So this is this is the column F3 that is our customer ID. Just right click on it, click on it, rename, and customer ID okay okay and the next column is on the last that is this one it's a transaction month just click on it right click on it and rename name as transaction month okay click on okay And and the last one is F15 that is profit rename okay profit click on this okay as you can see we rename our columns basically three columns that are customer ID transaction month and profit that are lie on the F3 F14 and F15 okay 
so in the next uh, what we have to do you have to merge two data set as i told you you can also merge in your excel sheet by using and lookup command but we are going to merge in this w platform so transaction are also there transaction is also there and we are going to take customer demographic like this double click on it and you can see like this so we have to select the common column name for this so as i told you we can do like this by agenda or we can look look we can do like this by using a customer id because customer id is also present in customer demographic and transactions so from transactions select customer id and for demographic for the we have to open file again okay customer demographic this one customer id on the first person okay f or this one on the first column okay so for this we were going to select uh, f1 as you can see f1 is not there so this one is a customer id as you can see it will take some time processing same thing and okay as you can see these two are merged successfully okay so as you can see this is the customer id for our column and all and this is also contain the this is the whole data section as last you will see okay when you see the transactions okay everyone every field are there so after then what you have to do you have to click just on sheet on the bottom of your page on the left hand side just click on it after then you will see all the name and columns on the left hand side of your screen basically for the data set name and all the data set columns so, so when you click on customer demographic it will look like this you can see all the columns are there and for the transaction is same all the transactions are there transactions column are there you can see customer id profit and one one more that is transaction month okay so okay so just so plotting or the visualization on a tableau platform can be done by just is drag and drop we repeat visualization can be done by you by normal drag and drop so i'm going to take a transaction month and the customer id for getting in which month the which customer purchase or not for getting this just select this and select in the row section on column section you can say oh this one okay so i select the customer id and the next is what you have to select that is transaction month in the row section so as you can see this is a visualization for the transaction month and respective customer ids so once you make this visualization just take the snapshot of this so how to take the snapshot i am i will like to tell you guys click on windows click on snipping tool and select this area okay like this and save it like you can save with any name i'm going to save it like transaction versus transaction versus customer id save it so this is our first visualization 
in the next you can also visualize visualize it in a bar chart pie chart etc for the pie chart just click on the show me and you can select like this okay this one or this one you can take any graph so this is how you generate the graph for your visualization so in the next graph we are going to select the gender and customer id so for this i just retrieve this again in this section okay so transaction month is also there okay so so just select customer id in a row section in a column section and for the row section you have to select the render so let me check on which number gender are there d that is f4 okay let's open chrome again from the customer select in a customer demographic select f4 okay just drag it and drop here so these are the visualization for the for the particular a gender as you can see the male is around 16 million and the female are around in the 17 and a half million you can also select profit for this in the place of customer id you have to select profit no tenders okay okay after getting visualization you have to take all the snapshots and you have to make a presentation that include the heading of your visualization just just we rename like just we name our snapshot like a uh, gender versus customer id or the profit versus customer id and so on so just make a presentation including that visualization and submit it as your submission so for this for submitting your presentation just click on this i already submitted it just come on the home page of insight sherpa companies and all go on the fifth section where submit your work 
click on this and submit your presentation by selecting file I already submitted so once you complete this task your internship will be completed so thank you for watching this video if you found this helpful just share with your friends and thumbs up and if you are new in my channel just subscribe my channel so thank you so much guys i hope you enjoy all the three talks so thank you so much